Welcome to today's lecture. Today we are talking about part 4 of the chemistry of microbiology which involves inorganic molecules that are important to microbiology. The lecture is presented by microbiology the biological sciences. Kindly feel free to contact us through our contacts below and also feel free to subscribe to our channel. Important inorganic compounds. Organisms depend on organic compounds, those that are containing carbon and hydrogen, and a variety of inorganic chemicals. Typically, they like carbon. Such inorganic molecules and compounds of biological importance include water, acids and bases, and salts. Water. Water constitutes between 50 and 90 percent of the total mass of organisms. Its special property that makes it essential in organisms is the fact that water molecules has two polar covalent bonds that allow hydrogen bonding between water molecules and their neighbors. Some of the properties are as follows. Water molecules stick to one another through hydrogen bonding, that is through cohesive forces. This results in interface as tension. Uh, that allows water to form a thin layer on the surface of the cell. This layer facilitates the transport of dissolved materials in and out of the cell. Water is an excellent solvent. It dissolves salts and other electrically charged molecules since it attracts both positive and negative charges. And three, water bonds significant amount of heat energy without itself changing temperature, and its molecules evaporate, taking much of this absorbed energy with them. This helps in moderating temperature functions in the organisms. Number four, water molecules take part in many chemical reactions within cells, both as reactants, hydrolysis, and as products of dehydration synthesis. Acids and bases. Acids are substances that dissociate into one or more hydroxyl ions and one or more anions. They can be inorganic, such as hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acids, or organic molecules such as amino acids and nucleic acids. A base is a molecule that binds with hydrogen ions when it dissolves in water. Some of them dissociate to cations and hydroxyl ions, which then combines with hydrogen ions to form water molecules. Other bases like ammonia directly accept hydrogen ions and become compounds ions like ammonium ions. Metabolic realism requires a relatively constant balance of acids and bases since hydrogen and hydroxyl ions are involved in several chemical reactions. In addition, many complex molecules, such as proteins, lose their functional shapes when acidity or basicity increases or changes. Metabolism comes to a halt when the concentration of either hydrogen ions or hydroxyl ions deviates too far from normal. The concentration of hydroxyl ions in a solution is expressed using a logarithm uh, that is the potential of hydrogen, pH scale. Potential of hydrogen, that is pH, is the negative of the logarithm of the concentration of the hydrogen ions. Acidity increases as pH values decrease and each whole number decrease in pH indicates tenfold increase in acidity, that's hydrogen ions concentration. Water is neutral at pH 7 since it dissociates into one hydrogen cation and hydroxyl anion. Basis. Alkaline substances have pH values greater than 7. They reduce the concentration or number of hydrogen ions by combining with them. 
organisms tolerate a certain narrow pH range and a fluctuation outside an organism's preferred range inhibits its metabolism. Because of this, most organisms naturally co contain substances like proteins that prevent severe changes in the internal pH that they are called the natural buffers. In the laboratory, metabolic activities of microorganisms may change the pH of the media, microbial growth solutions as nutrients are taken up and waste released. Thus, pH buffers are often added to the media. For example, phosphoric acid exists either as a weak acid or a weak base depending on the pH of its environment. That is a that's why it's used as a common buffer in microbiology media. Different microorganisms have different preferred pH ranges. Many grow best under natural uh, pH that is 6.5 to 8.5. Some in basic pH and like cyanobacteria and others in uh, uh, pH. Unlike fungi, Prokaryotes are generally less tolerant to acidic conditions, with exception of acid-loving prokaryotes called acidophiles, which require acidic conditions. For example, Propionibacterium acne, a pathogenic bacterium, tolerates the acidic pH of four conditions in the human body. Helicobacter pylori, Causes stomach ulcers survives in the stomach where the pH can fall as low as 1.5 when acid is being actively secreted. Microorganisms through metabolism can change the pH of their environment by utilizing acids and bases and by producing basic or acidic wastes. For example, fermenting microorganisms produce organic acids from the decomposed Session of sugar, and for example, the bacillus, a bacterium used in mining of uranium and copper, can reduce the pH to zero. The acid it produces in mine water dissolves enough uranium and copper from low grades or to make some mines profitable. Salts. A salt is a compound that dissociates in water into cations and anions other than hydrogen and hydroxyl ions. Hydroxyl yielding bases and acid neutralizes each other during exchange reactions to produce salts and water. For example, magnesium hydroxide, that's milk of magnesia, is an antiacid used to neutralize excess stomach acid. Cations and anions of salts are electrolytes. In the cell, the electrolytes are used to create electrical differences between inside and outside of the cell, to transfer electrons across the cell membrane and from one point to another, and as a, an important component of many enzymes. That's why it is a very important, they are very important in the transfer of uh, nutrients from one point to another. Some organisms use salts like calcium carbonate to provide structure and support for their cells. Kindly subscribe to our channel to stay tuned. The lectures presented by Microbiology, the Biological Sciences. You can feel free to contact us through our email.